Hello and you're watching TV9 News and I'm your host Deepak. Now the country is witnessing a humongous spike in daily cases of COVID-19. India was just 300 odd cases away from reaching the 350,000 mark on Sunday. And amid such a situation, some people are being misdiagnosed and their test reports are coming back negative. In fact, it's coming back false negative. Now, predictions on the situation worsening further, testing mishaps and delays are witnessed in huge numbers. And such mishaps could only make the situation worse. You might spread the virus to others assuming that you are negative, but in reality, you could be positive. So, what do you do when you are in such a situation? How can we contain it by ourselves? And what are the do's and don'ts? Now, to answer all these questions, we have with us Dr. Sitesh Roy, a clinical immunologist. Doctor, my first question to you is, how can you get a false positive on an RT-PCR test which is considered as the gold standard of testing? So Deepak, there are several reasons why an RT-PCR test can come negative. The first is sampling error. The way in which the nasopharyngeal swab is entered and goes all the way to the back of the nose where it has to be turned three or four times before the sample is collected makes a difference to the result. The second is processing time. If that is not accurate, you can miss a result. The third and very important is the time of viral shedding. So if the timing is not right of when the test is done compared to the onset of symptoms, you may miss the disease. And last is the test error itself. So we know that RT-PCRs in India have been about 70% accurate. They're supposed to be 90% plus accurate, but they are not and that is one of the reasons why up to 30% cases are getting missed in India. Um, though they are positive, they have the disease, but their report comes negative and hence symptoms is what a person or a physician or an individual needs to follow more than the result of the test. Also doctor, can a person actually test false positive in an RT-PCR test? What are the factors that could uh, lead to such false reports? Is it uh, the low viral load in a person or what, what are the reasons? False positives indicate the specificity of the test and false positives are extremely uh, rare when it comes to RT-PCR tests and even the tests in India are more than 95% specific when it comes to the testing. The reason why an RT-PCR might come positive is if there are some old coronaviruses which are also in circulation in the community and might have some cross-reactivity with the SARS-CoV-2 virus that may happen and also sometimes late in the disease after the active viral multiplication and shedding is over there may be some viral particles partial that are not infectious that may be still being formed. So the person is no longer infectious or sick with the virus, but the test may keep coming positive. And we do sometimes see that happening with SARS-CoV-2 infections. Now, doctor, how big of a concern is this? The sensitivity and the specificity of a test are very, very important, no matter what medical test and especially in COVID-19, because getting someone missing someone who has the infection as a false negative and picking up someone who doesn't have the infection as a false positive would really put a burden on the healthcare system both ways. One, a false negative person could be roaming around in the community with the infection, carrying a negative report and spreading it to their friends, family, co-workers and everyone around. And someone with a false positive who has actually no longer has the infection but may be shedding some viral particles will continue to isolate, continue to miss work, life and be in quarantine or isolation for longer than they need. So both ways the sensitivity and the specificity of a test have to be very very high for it to be most accurate and most helpful for doctors, for patients and for the healthcare system. And finally, what are the do's and don'ts if such a situation arises and how can one stay safe and not spread it and for how long? So ideally, Deepak, if someone has all the signs and symptoms of a COVID infection, including with or without fever, headache, loss of smell, loss of taste, sore throat, body pain, myalgia, cough, dry cough, wet cough, any, any symptom of COVID-19, but they are rapid antigen test or their RT-PCR test comes negative, they should still take the symptoms and give it priority and quarantine themselves minimum for a period of 10 to 14 days, uh, if not at least for seven days, 
and they might even benefit from repeating the test if necessary if the symptoms continue there is also the possibility that if coughing is there a high resolution ct scan of the chest would help and also there is something called blood biomarkers which include a cbc a crp ldh ferritin there are blood tests like that which can be very helpful ancillary tests to know whether covid-19 infection is there in that person and by doing this they will avoid spreading it to other people friends family and everyone else and keep themselves and others safe and also seek medical care early on well do you feel that you have symptoms even though your test report turned out to be negative are you concerned about your loved ones and what can you do if you feel this way well it's simple follow the directions given by dr sitesh roy and make sure that you do not forget about it soon after the video ends Do not let your guards down at any cost to keep your loved ones and yourself safe follow all the safety precautions and that should keep covid-19 at bay if you've liked the content we've shared with you please give us a thumbs up and also share this video with your loved ones and while you're doing that also do not forget to subscribe to tv9 news on various social media platforms many thanks for watching stay safe